For a modal analysis with an impulse hammer, there are two basic methods. In the roving accelerometer method, the hammer stays at the same place and excites the structure in a repeated way, while the accelerometer is moved to new positions. Alternatively, you can use the roving hammer method, which will be explained in this video. In this case, the accelerometer remains at the same position and is used as the reference, while the hammer runs through the individual measuring points. To begin a modal analysis, you need a front end, an impulse hammer, and an accelerometer. The sensors are connected to the front end. On the computer, we start in Artemis Suite on the tab Data Acquisition, Roving Hammer. Here we assign a project name and can describe the measurement afterwards. Data can be imported from a model. Hence, the numbers and the positions of all points to be measured can be retrieved automatically. The sensors can be attached to the corresponding channels simply by drag and drop, and the function can be tested instantly. The correct position of the reference sensor can be checked optically with the model. The quality of the impulse measurement depends critically on the correct analysis presets. Therefore, in the beginning, these will be set up properly with the aid of test strokes. Even inexperienced users will obtain good results right from the start. During the data acquisition, we simply follow the instructions on the screen. Artemis Suite tells us which point has to be hit next, in which direction, collects the data, analyzes it, and averages these data. And so we go to the next point. In the process, all strokes are checked for quality. Was there a bounce, a double hit? Was the stroke too strong or too weak? Was it adequately coherent to be used? All this is checked and monitored automatically by Artemis Suite. By this automatic assistance, the need for a second engineer to sit in front of a screen just to check the measuring strokes and confirm them is gone. With one click, we can transfer all measured data back to the 3D model. The located modes can be visualized and analyzed graphically. Therefore, the weak points of the test objects are shown clearly and procedures for improvements can be defined easily. Mm -hmm.